After that, you will want to go into the alarm menu. Alarms allow you to adjust your limits. High pressure, typically 10 over. We had 15, so we'll go to 25. And then um, we'll have uh, low pressure, which is based on the EPAP. And we'll go somewhere between 0 and 5, so we'll check, take 3. Time delay is the uh, amount of time it has to be below 3 before the alarm sounds. So we'll set that at uh, 15 seconds. Apnea, appropriate apnea is between 30 and 60 seconds. We have it at 30. That's sufficient. Low minute volume is going to be based on what the patient is doing. So really you should go back after this is on the patient and adjust the low minute volume. High respiratory rate can be based on what you set the ventilator on or what the patient is doing. I usually take a point between the two and we'll leave it at a respiratory rate of 20. Alarm silence is over here. And low rate, again, is somewhere below the lowest setting in what the patient is doing. So approximately 10 is often a good setting. We're at 12. I'm going to go with 8 for low rate. That pretty much completes the setup. Make sure you got your mode correct. Go back to monitoring.